right? But the Bible says it's untamable. That every beast and every creature is tamable by mankind, but not the tongue. We, we can't even have control of our own tongue. It's like a fire and it devours the whole body. It devours the whole body. That tells you something. So, my goodness, you know, after the same mouth, we, we bless God. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, God. Turn around the next minute, somebody's passing about blowing or about to knock it off the road. We curse the men. And the Bible says that sweet and, and a bitter cannot come out the same fountain. That this ought not to be. We are to use our mouth to praise God, to lift up each other, to love one another, to speak him, to praise unto God. But do we ever think about that? Or do we let the devil tempt us into unrighteousness? Do we just say, okay, I'm just going to, this feels good, let me just go and do it this one time and I can repent. Yeah. You can't do that. You can't get a devil no place in you. Amen. You can't do it. Amen. Come on. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. And I want to, 2 Timothy, the 2nd uh, chapter, 15 verse states, but shun profane, profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more righteousness. Amen. See, the wrath of man does not work righteousness, it works unrighteousness. And you know, the Bible says, be slow to hear, slow to speak. And the swift to, uh, we all know that. Here, that's it. So when we speak, we got to be slow about what we speak. Think about what we speak with our tongue. See, we have to do the same thing. The devil is relentless in trying to get us to sin. I mean, he uses temptation, deception, attacks, and tricks. I mean, whatever he can. He wants to kill, steal, and destroy. He's coming to sift us as weak. And any time that we yield to the devil, give him the right of way to, just with sin, then that's what we're doing. We're helping him out. We're making it easy for him. But thanks be to God that he sent Jesus Christ, who is our advocate, who loves us so much. God loves us so much. While we were yet sinners, he still sent Christ to die for us. He continually just loves us, and we continually, we can't ignore that. We have to respect what God has done. Respect that he sent his son. Respect that he loved you enough to give you a gift of eternal life. Respect that he gave you grace, a free gift, something you don't deserve, something that's unmerited. Know that God loves you, that he has a plan for you to do you good and not harm and to prosper you. Not what the devil has, eternal damnation, eternal hell. That's not what we're looking for. That's not what we want. Don't let the devil that will deceive you. Hallelujah. Don't let him deceive you. The Bible tells us to submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. And I know that for a fact, because he comes often here. He comes often at his address. I'm telling you. Man, I had a battle to get here. But I had to think about Paul. How Paul didn't let snakes get in shipwreck. He didn't let none of that. He didn't yield to the devil. He pressed on towards the rock on the high calling in Christ Jesus. And that's what I had to keep thinking about. How the devil, you're alive. I was walking, fell down. I was thinking, I said, oh, Lord, I hit my cat, I don't know. I don't know. Devil put that on mine. I said, fell. Why did my knee? You know, I said, devil, that ain't enough. That ain't enough. There's something else, Kate. I said, that's okay, devil. You don't want this word to get out, but the devil is a liar. I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. No weapon from the enemy shall prosper. Greater than he is to me than he is to the world. The devil is a liar. I'm not going to be afraid of the devil when he wants I'm not going to. I'm not yielding to his thoughts, his deeds, his tactics. I'm not going to do it. I, I, for God I live, for God I die. And I'm telling him that. That's just the bottom line. So. Amen. Amen. And listen, listen, y'all. This is serious right here. Our mind. This is a battlefield. This is a struggle between good and evil right here. You know, we got to think on those things that are pure, that are honest, that are righteous, just, give a good report. If there be any virtue, any at all, you know, we have to think on these things. Because the devil will give you some thoughts. He will give you some dreams. Huh, I'm telling you. But you got to cast them down. You got to cast them down. Put every hot thing that stops the devil against the knowledge of God. Put it down. Speak that pure word unto him. You got to use your tongue like Jesus did to defeat the devil. That sword, that word of God. You got to continually use it. We're in a war, y'all. We can't be relaxed. We can't think, oh, he's coming today. He ain't coming tomorrow. He came this minute. He ain't coming next hour. Oh, yes, he is. He's relentless. Get ready, get ready, because he's relentless. If he's not on your case, the time is coming. Ain't the right to touch Let's just give everything to God. Just give him our weakness.